cool. Welcome to episode seven of Figuring Out Fatherhood. Today I'm with my good friend Claudio. My oh, bro. Are you saying really good? I'm good, man. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. So like your name is Claudio. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your name? Claudio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, born and raised in Italy. Currently um, working as a project manager. Okay. And uh, my son is two. His name is Kaylan. K a y l a n. A lot of people get that wrong with K then. And yeah, yeah, other spellings mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I have to let it be known. Of course. Out. And um, yeah, that's me. On the day to day, I like to you know listen to stuff. I try to get my business up as a consulting. Okay. So I took all that going on, and you know just figure out how to. Like you said really. Figure out how to. Thank you. Hey, shameless plug. I love it. <laughs> all right, let's just go right into it. Actually, so the reason I brought you today, I want to talk to you about trying to be the perfect dad. Mm. So, how would you describe the perfect dad, actually? What, in your opinion, what's the image you have in your head? That's a f- good question, actually. Um, perfect dad, I think the word perfect dad already mm-hmm. puts a limitation on what you're trying to do. Mm. Do you hear what I'm saying? Facts. I mean, a lot, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, I think everyone knows parenting is something that you just have to make sure you fulfill all your best abilities. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you provide for your children make sure they're happy within themselves and confident on their aspects in every aspect of their life and making sure they are comfortable with them sharing any type of um, issues secrets they might have Mm -hmm. Um, i feel like as long as he's able to come and talk to me about anything Mm -hmm. then i think i've done my job okay you know what i'm saying try it has to be more than an open space. It has to be his space, you know. His father could be his mentor, his friend, protector, everything. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, he needs to. There needs to be some respect there, because you know, I'm the one that gave you life and stuff like that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's a. There's a lot of stuff involved in that. I think you just need to, every day, take your ideas and just do your best, really. Okay. And, uh, so you mentioned this protector. So how how when you say protect, how do you protect your son? Like how? Because I'm assuming you want to protect his space. You want to protect yeah, people. Yeah, I mean, people. Pro- yeah. as you as you probably know, this world there's a lot of negative stuff around mm-hmm. going on. So you try your best to protect them from what you know is currently not best for them. Mm-hmm. So whether that be violent music, violent mm-hmm. movies, pornography, anything that you can think of that you know, guess that pollutes your mind mm-hmm, mm-hmm, at a young mm-hmm. age because they are easy, impressionable. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm trying to just guide them in the best way possible, mm-hmm. really. Um, and then that's it, that's, that's what I'm trying to do, really. Okay, something I want to touch on actually, so obviously, because I'm a parent as well, and I try to protect my child from me and certain people. It's not because mm-hmm. of anything they've done, it's just like, even my energy isn't so right. Yeah. The energy isn't right with me or, what I don't want is anyone temporary meeting my child. I don't want someone to meet my child as because what you find is a lot of people they want to the child's like an accessory like they want to take pictures for the gram or for social media it's just like that's not enough for me because you can't just meet my child and then not being there yeah it's not your child's not a prop yeah yeah yeah, and then every year they'll be like oh my god happy birthday to (laughs) such and such they'll reload that same picture yeah Yeah. if you're going to be my child like i need to know it's permanent not just Mm -hmm. temporary so i think i think they come from the action might not be um negative but they come as a misplaced mm-hmm. so they don't realize what they're actually doing yeah you know coming and going in someone's child's life it's, it's not it's not the best way um any example even the child will be like why oh, daddy why is that person here today and not here like yeah. three weeks in four weeks or whatever the case may be um so i try i try my best to as well myself if i have to introduce killer to someone mm-hmm. it needs to be there's probably people that I know closely that I know have been that have been there for me mm-hmm. and that will be there mm-hmm. in the future coming. So yeah, it's uh, you just have to be selective, really, mm-hmm. because you know at the end of the day, it's probably the most precious thing you have on a child, and you have to make sure everything around them is not perfect, but at least yeah. make it the best possible. Yeah, and of course you are well. You are going to be, or in theory, should be your son's role model. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So in theory, you laugh now, but you. No, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely, it's a, it's a, definitely an accurate description because um, 
already it imitates what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I have to be really careful on what I do or how I say or how I move because you know it picks up things very quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, so the best way for me to make sure it grows up in the best way possible is for me to act in a certain way, mm-hmm. um, making sure that you know standard morals and values principle are instilled mm-hmm. from young and. Yeah, it's not it's not easy. It's not easy at the same time, but it's, you have to you have to do it because if no, who, if if you don't do it, who else will do it? You know, and yeah. then you don't want to wake up one day and say, "Damn, I didn't do stuff that yeah. well easy than uh, when it was growing up." Really, so yeah, it's it's, it's interesting. Nah, it, it's funny you mention that your son makes you because the other day, like I picked my daughter up when I was driving home and I played the song, and she was singing along to it and. Mm. Cause I always looked at her as like you're just yeah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Singing, I was like so <laughs> is it every song you sing along to that playing the car oh yeah like yeah, do yeah. you go home and start bang bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> to your mom <laughs> I need to yeah so it's good that's why it's like you need to be cautious of what you expose your child to definitely definitely yeah. I mean like you said music is one one element of it like. Even what you eat, for example, mm. you know the food that sometimes they they want. Like my child now knows that oh, there's juice, so mm. sometimes you last for juice at the wrong times, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the morning or later, and I'm like, no, you can't have juice at this mm-hmm. time just because you know it's it's not the best. Food. It's not it's not healthy, you know. For example, um, so yeah, like I said, it's a case of making sure what you're doing. You you need to be aware of your surroundings mm-hmm. as well. Um, I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's stuff that when you're in it, you, you'll understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because well, they grow up so quickly yeah. and they pick up things very, very quickly and you won't realize until it's too late. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a funny thing. Do you feel that there's pressure on you as a human, as you as yourself, to be um, like that? Do you, do you feel like you just do whatever you want? There's pressure on me by me. Okay. There's no pressure on me by anyone else, mm-hmm. uh, mainly by me because your child needs to, in my opinion, your child needs to have a better upbringing, upbringing than what you that. are. Yeah. Um, so, because I know what I know, mm-hmm. I feel like I need to make sure he knows better. Mm-hmm. And in order for him to do that, I need to make sure I provide better. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, there is pressure just mm-hmm. by myself, for myself, uh, but not, not from external people. Anything so, like that. your son's mum, your parents didn't? Put any kind of pressure on you to do I mean, obviously, or my parents definitely they, you know, African parents they, they will have their own way of um, making sure, not lecturing, but they allow their own way of um, upgrading, upgrading, upbringing someone, yeah. right? Um, so they will tell you, oh no, make sure he eats this, make sure of he course. drinks that. Mm-hmm. But then they, that's your child, mm-hmm. and you have to make sure the thing you're doing for them, you're comfortable with it. So um, there's nothing wrong with guidance from, you know, from your partner, from your parents, from mm-hmm. um, the in-laws and stuff like that. Because obviously they've experienced it, at least the parents' experiences or other parents have experienced it. But um, your child is your child. Mm-hmm. And I feel like no one knows my child better than I do. Mm-hmm. And it's a case of trial and error at times, mm-hmm. you know, and just making sure they are healthy and then they are happy and everything that goes in their life goes in the best possible way really. So um, there is obviously external pressure but I'm trying not to listen to that as much yeah. as yeah. Okay. And when it comes to being the perfect father as well, one thing you, you want to do is you want to always help your child. Yes. Have you ever felt helpless when it comes to your child? Um, Let me give an example. Yeah. To make it easier for you. Yeah. So me personally, when my daughter first started nursery, mm-hmm. as everyone should know, it's like a germ factory there. Like one week she had a cold, next week she had contact mm-hmm. twice, the week after yeah. that she had a cough and it was just non-stop. And it's the fact that I had to watch her. Going through that. I'm yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, 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 I'm not going to pull her out of it, something that I've paid for. Like, it's, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's not ideal. I mean, yeah. my son had um, chicken pox the other week. Oh. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> you know, this, there's nothing I can do, yeah. exactly. Um, luckily for him, he's, he's quite, like, he's carefree, so he wasn't bothering, he wasn't bothering me as much. 
but I knew that sometimes he would be like scratching himself mm. and everything and I'm like oh, I wish I could take that pain away of course, and, you know yeah. things like um, I guess when it comes to helping or being helped, um, helpless is the case of make sure you do what the best that you can do mm-hmm. um, you know when it comes to health obviously there's only so much you can do but when it comes to you know teaching him stuff mm-hmm. guiding him protecting him again anything that is in within your power yeah just just make sure you do as much as you can really and if you need yourself to ask around ask people then feel free i mean nowadays there's there's help anywhere where you ask mm-hmm. when you when you want for it so cool well, thanks a lot, Tadio. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Your yeah, accent yeah. is crazy because I don't know. No, I don't. Then girls are going to be like, it's like a black dude, and they're getting all wet. You it's, 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 a, it's a mixture, it's a mixture. Uh, uh, so so uh, born and raised in Italy. Sprinkled with Ghanaian. Sprinkled with Ghanaian. And yeah. then, I don't know, I don't know if there's a London part Tucked in it. Tucked English. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's so, like a cocktail, right? <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. That's <laughs> now, okay. So, what else you do on the side, Tadio? Talk to me. So, your socials. So yeah, so social obviously as people may or may not know, um, Twitter is Claudio and Scoporta, Instagram, Claudio and Scoporta. Um, I'm starting my own business within uh, GDPR, so um, I'm planning to set up a consultancy within there. So anyone who may be interested in GDPR, then feel free to again contact, contact with me. Um, currently working um, as a project manager in a tech environment, um, so that's why interesting for me um what else do i do just normal stuff just keep it up to today with um whatever's going on in the world really i'm trying at least you know <laughs> um so yeah well that's, yeah, that's my it. pleasure man Thank you. Have you on. take it easy man have a <laughs> <laughs> no it's fine it's fine <laughs> <laughs> it's fine <laughs> 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 just go <laughs>